and I flipped it over, and it's freaking Holt Howard. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in Martinsville, Indiana at Trader Baker's Flea Market. It's been a while since I've been in here. But let's go see what we can find today. Flea Market. Oh, look at the little duck. A little clear glass duck for $8. He's all one piece. Well, maybe his, maybe his, I don't know, I think his beak was pulled. It's kind of cute and there's this little baby little baby duck down there lots of clear glass which I don't do too good on so I tend not to buy it these can do pretty well on eBay these little molded um, Mickey Mouses I think they're made they're Walt Disney Productions this one's $8.99 little they're panning for gold in Alaska oh here's a tin type these two lovely ladies for $2.99. Oh no, I see some. Like I need any more of this. I call it yellow wear, but I just love it. Which is this one? This is $19.99. They are made in Japan. See, that's the mark on the bottom. I don't necessarily like teapots. I like vases and vessels. I mean, you can put, you can take the jar off of that. So I don't think I'm going to get that, but look at this Pyrex back here for $40. It's $39. It looks like barbed wire. This is called Pyrex Barb Wire. Is that the actual name? That's kind of fun. For $40. It actually is called Pyrex Barb Wire. They went $39 for it, and it sells for, I've seen sold comps for $19.99, $25.99. So I'm not going to get that. These are nice, too, but I hate shipping glasses. The cradle with the glasses for $39.99. This book down here, My Book House in Shining Armor. I like the graphic that's on the front. It's kind of cool. Oops, here, here's, a, here's an empty space here. Oh wow, look at that. It's $4.99 and shining armor. Oh, look at the little like Greek mythology guys. What year is this? This is 19 copyright, 19. The latest one is 1937. I think I'm gonna get that. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm gonna get that. Here's a nice big pink doily. It's $9.99 be great for a table pink and white crocheted cheese with a big heart around it you can put a lot of cheese in there good for your cheese ball look at that little the little baby um i thought said peacock penguin penguin look it's creep look at the creepy creeper behind him though we see you clown look at this little Fort Howard water cramp tissue. It's six dollars. It's from the 1920s. Well, I think that that is freaking adorable. I'm gonna get that. It's like little tissue paper, but I think that that is just adorable. Looks like a little toilet paper. Why do I? I like stuff like this. That's why. That is why I think this is great. So I'm gonna get you. And you might go on my shelf in my bathroom. Okay, I just had an instant memory. I had these as a child. Oh my gosh. The love monkeys. I had these. They are our Dakin. Oh my gosh. Just like instantly got a memory. I'm getting them. They're $12. They love and hug each other. That's crazy. I have not thought about these monkeys until just, just this second when I saw them. Oh, you're Viking. How much are you? No, you're not. You're Ellie Smith. You've got some boobers on the bottom of you. You are Ellie Smith. You can see it looks like Viking with the six pedal, but the base is different. And this is Amberina. It's $24. Well, oh, this is lovely. This is a McCoy, the, the lily vase. It's Mark McCoy on the bottom. It's $10. It's a figural vase. I'm not seeing any boobers on it. I think that that is beautiful. 
Oh, no, never mind. Right there. It's got a boober on it. So, oh, unfortunately, I won't be getting won't be getting you, but you're so pretty. This booth has such a, a knack for staging their items. That's a beautiful plant stand there, which is for $10. But yeah, see, they stage their items so nice and they always change it out. It's very, very pretty, very, very appealing. Makes me wanna just stand here and look at every little inch of the holiday thermos. Thermoses don't do too well for me anymore. There was a time when they, I, they would sell great, but not so much anymore. Look here. Look at little baby Jeff Jeff. Look what he colored. He colored Santa. And look, maybe that's me. And he colored a palm tree. You're doing good, little baby Jeff Jeff, with your painting. Look at you. He's like, I know. I tried my best. I don't know why I like this. It's $18. I like, I think everybody should start collecting these odd oil paintings and hang them up on their wall. Oh my gosh, it was professionally framed. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. When we look down here, we have a whole set of, they might be Culver. They want $38 for the set, which is not bad. That's with the cradle. I hate, I don't do well with glasses. Let's see, yeah, they are Culver. You can see right there. Boy, that seems like a great deal, but I hate shipping these. They just don't do very well for me. But $38 for those with the holder? I'm going to do a little search. Okay, I'm going to get them because just four glasses sold on eBay for the price of all eight of them and the carrier. So, we are going to, as much as we don't like to ship glass, we're going we're gonna to get those. Okay, here is a vintage doll for five dollars. She, I mean, she's got she got some lashes going on. I'm trying to see. Pardon me, miss. We're gonna look up your dress. You are definitely vintage. I can just tell by the yellowing and the materials that is used to make you. She might be. Russian, she might be German. She's five dollars. These are like it's just like she's got baby faces on there, but they're not. Um, I'm torn. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna think about her. I'm gonna get her. I don't know. I'm having I'm having a moment with her. I think that she's probably one of those things that the things that we always look for that we maybe don't think are something but I'm kind of think that she she's definitely a souvenir piece but she's got a hand painted face hand stitched clothes and body so for five dollars I'm gonna get her oh my goodness look at this little pig it's Penny see it's Penny the pig Penny the pig piggy bank she is $14. Look at how cute she is. She's even got money inside. I think she's probably from the 70s, would be my guess. Possibly 80s. $14. Penny. Penny the pig. Ooh, all little bottles and advertising pieces. I like that. This is Dreen shampoo in a glass bottle for $2. Dreen shampoo. Are you Dreen? Yes, Dreen shampoo with a little bit different of a of a label. We just got a salt shaker. We have Lady Betty potato salad. Let's see what do I like? I'm gonna put flowers in that. I like it. I like it. This is a little cold cream or a jelly jar maybe. College girl sandwich spread. See, don't those look all like Lady Betty, College Girl. College Girl's five dollars. This one still has a little cork in it. Woodbury, New Jersey. LM Green Properties or pr Proprietor, possibly. Nettie. There's Nettie's jellies. 
This one has a ball, ball jar lid. Oh, there's Twinkle. That will clean your copper. Isn't that cool? Look at the little starbursts on it. And Paige. It's just a little jar with a red lid. Some of these jars, like, look at that. How Art Deco that is. That's great. Let's see what's over here on the other side. This one just has a red lid, but still, look at that jar. It's very, very cool. This is Burma Show. Oh, this was a Windex. Look at that. A Windex bottle. They don't make them like they used to, kids. These red, white, and blue glasses are neat. For the 4th of July, which is this Tuesday. Oh, look at that old jump rope with the wooden handles. Those are really cool. $16 for the set of those. A little red stove. I've sold that several times in multiple different colors. Oh, we've got some more. See, this? these are cool that they had. Like, this was mustard. And then when you were done, you got to keep the little glass. I wish they did stuff like that still. Also, look at this little baby crib toy. There's lots of choking hazards for babies. Babies must have been a lot smarter back then than they are now. Looky here. There's a whole... Wait, is this for the whole thing? Vintage U.S. Uh, huh? Vintage something toy horn. Wait, oh, just the horn. I thought all of them were $8. Look at that horrifying image there. The clown. Gosh, could you imagine if I bought all these and took them home? Mark would... He'd probably leave me. Yeah, look at that clown. Oh, that one's a silent one. That one doesn't make any noise. That one's six dollars. Um, this one that makes a lot of noise. Let's see. Let's find. Is this one? Oh, yeah. this booth has a lot of hats. I'll have to. Oh, in the mirror right there. We'll have to do a little hat try-on session here. But there's lots of little bitties here too, which I like to see. Oh, she's cute. She's contemporary, of course. She's $12, but look, she's got she's got no money at her crying. Oh, there's a dog reading a book. Oh, look, there's a dog nurse with a little puppy. Dog nurse with a little puppy dog. A little puppy dog baby. Oh, here's a Stetson hat. I like a man's hat. That's what I have on today. Um, okay, this is, this is the, like, can you even see? I'll show you this way. This is the hat I have on today. But let me get my camera set up so I can try on some other hats. Okay, so this is my hat. This is the Stetson. It does come in the original box. It's so small. I got a real big head, apparently. I just got done looking through this sheet music, and there's two. But I, six dollars is a bit much. But look, it's 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 the merm. It's the merm. Ethel Merman and Gypsy. Oh, all I need is the girl, is the score. And then we've got uh, Wildcat, Lucille Ball. This was the movie that, or the, she was in this musical right after she um, divorced Desi, not long after. It was kind of her comeback to the stage at $6. I mean, I might get that one just because it's got a depiction of her in it. If the merm, the merm was on that one, I probably would get that. But... I'm going to get that for myself. This I'm getting for myself. Queen Gloria Swanson. She is the ultimate star. Oh my gosh. She's fascinating. So I'm getting that for myself as well. Okay. This is a surprise. This kind of caught my eye. And I, you know, turned around looking. And I thought, oh, look at how pretty that is. And it says, ever faithful. It's a little napkin holder. And I flipped it over. And it's freaking Holt Howard. I didn't realize it's $7. So, it's in great shape. We're gonna get that too. Okay, there's a couple more hats over here that I'm gonna try on. Like, ooh, this one was Stormy Cromer since 1903. I thought this was vintage, but it's not. But I don't think it's gonna fit me. No, it doesn't. What is the deal with the hats? See, th this one is $29. It is a vintage, it's a women's hat. But it kind of fits it down like that. That one actually fits. It's got a little flower there. I, I kind of like it. It is felt. It is doe skin. 
doe skin felt. Look at this one. Why is my head so big? I mean, I know everything else on me is big too, but I didn't think my head was that big, but no vintage hats fit me except for a man's hat. All right, here we go. This is a little rainbow glass. I'm sure it will glow under black light. I have my black light with me. I think it's $8.99. It does have the rainbow sticker on it. That's interesting. Let's see, where are my keys? Yeah, we got a little bit of manganese in there making that that glow a little bit up there at the rim. I kind of like it. I'm going to get that for $8.99. Ah, oh, look at this. I love these old drug bottles with the original labels. This is paraffin oil. Marion, Indiana. It's $10. It has that nice... Uh, bake, bake a light lid on it. If it was like, I don't know, something a little bit more spookier than paraffin oil. I don't know what paraffin oil does, but but looky here, she's $12 for the little July angel, but she's missing her wings. Ah, why do you have to be missing your wings? Oh my gosh, look at this. Wheel of Fortune. That's not Vanna. That is funny. This is $10. Some assembly required. I had this trouble. That's one that I remember. The Poplomatic, made by Gabriel. I wonder if it's all there. It's ten dollars. That's memories. I'll have to look at that. And then the Clippy Clowns. Turn over box for Clippy Clown display. Well, they're all there. Some some clowns are broken. That you can make all your clowns clip together. Hmm. Okay. Well, all the pieces are there. Uh, it's ten dollars, which that's about what it sells for on eBay. So I don't think that I'm going to get it, but I liked that game. I say so. This since this is a flea market, it, it is like a combination. We've got some clothes, and but there are a lot of good vintage booths out here, and sometimes it's a little bit of a of a mixture of of both. So it's always a good idea to um, come into the booth that maybe you think on first glance, mm, there's not a lot of stuff in there. But sometimes you can find, that's where you can find the best stuff. Oh, look at this Cabbage Patch piano. Oh, oh, they're just being born. Just being born. Doesn't play any music though. That's unfortunate. Oh my gosh. I think every baby in the 70s had this in their crib. $25. Well, look at this game. Pin the boobs on the babe. Oh, you gotta pin the boobs on the babe. You can, this can be yours for the low price of $25. This is a perfect example. There's purses and stuff like that. I mean, there are some glass and stuff in this book, but this book just caught my eye. It is from 1943, I believe. It's $6 and it's the Machineries Machinery's Handbook. Um, it's in really good condition. You can see someone was using it up until 1991. And it sells on eBay. I'll put the comps on the screen. But for $6, this will be, can be listed on eBay. And it's actually a really nice piece for decor. Don't not look up books. If they look interesting enough to you, look them up. Especially books that are like a purposeful book but they can also look good in decor this little pie plate too i think it's a i'm not sure what that says on the back it, it says bavarian girl uh, pie plates two dollars and fifty cents i love the color on it. it has a little hanging now there it's mainly it's made it was painted to be hung speak little speak well I like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. I love this fern. This is um, it's a puzzle, a vintage puzzle. Um, it's a fern bezel peat um, illustration. Um, it's got some discoloration. Fifteen dollars. It's about what the going price is on eBay. So I can't get that for resale. But I thought it was pretty enough to put in the video. This is pretty cool. The birds are pretty neat. But this is what I was looking at. Is this T A E a dictaphone? I think this is a replacement. Someone's put this on top of it to make it like a little side table. Repurposed dictaphone table. Six glasses and one shot glass. You get the you get the the glasses too for $125. That is really, really neat. I love that. So here is a book. It is $15.50. It's beautiful. It's new biologies from 1934. It was Dorothy Schaefer's book. 
but the prints in here are stunning. So we've got birds and butterflies and florals in here. It's in really nice shape. There is some writing in there, but I just think that it's beautiful. It's $15.50, but, but I really like it. Look at this little chef and his bean pot. He's going to the Catalina wine mixer. That's what he's going to do. I think it's California pottery, but those are kind of cute. Those little bullet um, shakers, they were $7.95. These are $40 for the spice, aluminum spice um, canisters. Look at the chalkware, spoon and fork, anthropomorphic. They're $18, but I kind of can't resist them. Look at here. Here's a little tin for rectal irritations. Mutton tallow with camophore. There is another good cheese keeper for 14. It's the second big cheese keeper we have seen in here today. Oh, polyresin Boyd's bear figurines. Oh my gosh, when Mark and I got married, we had these canisters. Gosh, they're vintage now. Here we got a little Czechoslovakia bird. I like with their little feet. It's ten dollars. Little um, um, face. It's pretty cute. You get to a point sometimes when you're at these places that you're just like, especially when you're filming, you're just like, ugh. Kind of get to that point where I'm just like, whoa. And I don't even think I'm halfway through. But I, I like I said, I haven't been here in a while. But typically. The other half of the place isn't, it's pretty, it's a pretty quick walkthrough. Let's see what's over here. Oh, a unicorn. There's a little polar bear sitting on a block of ice. Little friends of the Arctic. It's a little pretty little gray boat there. Little Jack in the pulpit, little mini Jack in the pulpit for 15. We've got a Fenton Bell for 20. Hmm. A little Fenton here for 20 lots of records so here is a pretty piece of hull h-u-l-l -L pottery i might already have this piece it's 12 dollars, but i i have a collection of these so it seems like i'm just buying stuff for myself today that's kind of cute um not seeing anything else Look at that little refrigerator. What are you putting that? Pop? Makeup? I don't know. Well, in this little section, I'm just seeing the one little, one little picture. I'm kind of slowing down a little bit. Oh, cute little Pepper. He's Ukago. He looks so sad. Those cows are mooing. Got the Washington Monument and the, um, well, two Washington Monuments and the Capitol Building. Oh my gosh, these Madame Alexander dolls. I remember my grandma had a bunch of those. Yeah, you kind of get to a point where you're just like, that's where I am right now. But I must, I must finish the video. I must. This little pottery jar here, he's got a little face. That's very, very cute. Oh my gosh, you guys remember when Garth Brooks turned into Chris Gaines? <laughs> what was up with that? Oh my gosh, that was something else. I forgot about that until just this moment. Look at that baby bed, isn't that cool? Gosh, Michael could put all his babies in there. All his little doll babies. It's like Jefferson Glass for $8.99. That is really pretty. Here's a little Santa. He's a shaker. Do you have your... Oh, yeah, here's his other one. How much is you... Or are you Santas? They are $6.99. I'll get you, my pretties. They're in good shape, too. Wow, that's kind of shocking to find Santa shakers that are vintage. They aren't marked Japan. On the bottom for under $10. Well, look at that horrific shelf there. No, thank you. Um, come on, I need something to perk me up. My sails are deflated. Well, here's little pigs. Those are cute. 
little kitschy pig for my mink coat. I like these. How much are you? Eight dollars though. Are you squeaky? No. Just a little rubber or a hard plastic. Oh, I see a baby. She's sixteen dollars. She's she's got a really big face. Her little carnival prize doll. Oh, she's so cute though. She's got a little bit of paint loss on her little lip there. She's 16. And then this is a it's a more modern one. It's a little the little little Goldilocks. Not Goldilocks, real red riding hood and grandma and the wolf. The vintage ones do pretty well. Oh my gosh, look at this little chair. Let me see if I can reach it. It's a part of a chair. The legs are missing for nine dollars that would be cute hung on a shelf or hung on the wall I gotta find a blank wall like pretend that's a wall you can hang that on the wall i think i'm gonna get that i like it i like it i like that it doesn't have the legs so i can make it into a shelf that's exactly what i'm gonna do okay i'm seeing i'm seeing down here i'm seeing some squeaks oh thirty dollars he is great though, look at him. He's like a Rip Van Winkle. We've got the Mobley, oh man. That's a shame, that's a little more what I can do. Wow, this booth has a lot of Campbell soup. Oh my gosh, it's Mini Pearl. Oh, I'm actually hot, I'm fanning myself with Mini Pearl. Oh, it's $5 for gold. Well, I'm just so happy to be here. I've got some Guardian service wear. Although these are cute little salt and pepper shakers for four dollars each. Oh the crocodile hunter. Oh wow. Crocodile hunter Valentine's. Oh, rest in peace. Steve Irwin. Ooh that's a nice platter there. Is that two dollars? That's two dollars for the platter. Does it go on the guardian wear thing? That'd be a great for a charcuterie or relish bowl. No, the guardian is ten dollars. I don't need that. Oh look at the Campbell soup. Kids, bride and groom. Well oh, his tag is turned around. We've got these little uh, Campbell soup dolls. What are these? Those are really cute. Are they plastic or celluloid? Okay, they've got a barcode on them. $19.98. They're $10. They're really cute. Look at this one. She, oh, she's ready to sport her John Deere. Oh no. I've really messed you up now. This is an old one. Wow, look at her. She was rubber. Oh, she's lived a life. Oh, that's just the stand. Let's see. She is 1850 cloth doll with mesh dress. She's got a composition head. I'll pick that up here. I'll put it all back together, but I can't do it with one hand, so I'm gonna have to put the phone down in order to do that. See, I put her back. Oh my gosh, look at this little guy. <laughs> He's $5. And a little Campbell soup cup. I've actually had this before. That's $5. That's really, really cute too. A little Campbell soup kid when Emma was little. She just looked like a sample Campbell soup little kid. Oh, this is cute. It's a reproduction tin. And see this booth, we've got clothes and bins and underpants. But then we've got a little piece of Viking Blue Neek for for $5.99. So that's good. Um, I'm gonna get that. Some Blendo. I'm not gonna mess with shipping that. This I don't like the fruit and stuff that's on it. I know it's it's eight ninety nine. I could probably still sell it and make some money on it, but I know me well enough to know that it doesn't excite me and it'll sit on my shelf forever. Okay, this is something not to do if you have a booth. 
don't put masking tape over the cover of a book. Look all of the masking tape on the book. That's Eloise Wilkin. That's Eloise Wilkin. I'm going to have to see if I can get the tape off. I know that I can use my undo, but don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, I did end up getting some books. I'm going to have to use my undo, but you know what you could easily do if you're pricing books? Instead of putting masking tape, first of all, Pete's Dragon is my favorite book. Dragon. The dragon. I swear I saw a dragon. Okay, I wonder if Cappy's in here. I'll be your candle on the water. There's Cappy. Okay, so you could take a pencil and write in pencil right there. Don't, don't put tape on books, please. See, now we're getting into like the second half of the store, which there's not a lot. You can usually get through the, this side pretty quickly. I mean, we did manage to get a full cart of stuff, so that's good. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's still some, some booths over here that are worth looking at, of course. But um, you can usually get through this side pretty quick. What do we got? Oh, here's a little, a little glass duck. He's kind of cute. This is 24. Oh, look at the fox. An amber glass fox. He's 18. It's kind of a neat bowl, that natural wood. For 14, I don't think that it's made in Taiwan, so it is vintage. Oh, there's a unicycle. That would make me break my leg. Well guys, I am done. Whew, I was hot in there, I had to put my hair up. I'm done. Um, it was a great day of shopping. I found a lot of great things. I haven't been in here for a while, so it was kind of good to see. Um, I love going to an indoor flea market because there's something for everybody, honestly. Uh, there's clothes, there's vintage, there's farmhouse, there's pop culture, there's games, there's all kinds of things. So love going to Trader Baker's Flea Market here in Martinsville. So if you're in the area, make sure that you come on in. Lots of small businesses for you to support in each booth. Thank you guys so much for shopping along with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Hi friends, just reminding you that I do have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come and subscribe. And another reminder that I do have live sales every Tuesday right here on YouTube at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern and then at 5 p.m. Eastern over on Whatnot. The link to all of my sales are in the description. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. And unless I miss my guess, the boys will follow me around. I could make a music master, drop his fiddle, make a bald head, a man put his hair in the middle. I'm a red hot mama. Red